Did you know there are obstacles that can get in the way of how you want to live during your retirement years? There are miscalculations, errors in thinking and judgment, other ways you could sabotage your own retirement. I think it's important for us to identify those, come up with a plan to overcome them, don't you? That's what we're going to do today with author and speaker Chris Hogan. Stay tuned to the One Simple Thing podcast. It's time to build a better business by building a better you. This is One Simple Thing. Welcome back. Good to have you along. Steve Kirby with you as we again talk with Chris Hogan, who is a retirement expert. His new book is called Retire Inspired. It's not an age. It's a financial number. It is a great how-to handbook for making the most of your retirement. And it's not too late, no matter what age you find yourself at right now. Just go to our website, click on the banner for Chris Hogan, and pick up a copy of his book. It's at onesimplethingonline.com. Chris Hogan, thank you for being back here again today on the One Simple Thing podcast. Well, thank you for having me. You know, our uh, our show is specifically designed for business people, but it's it's really more about personal development. It's about the areas that surround our business that create uh, the environment where we can have our best business, where we can put our best foot forward as far as business goes. And I think retirement's one of those areas, right? Where if I think we, it is. If we're <laughs> if we're living in fear of the future, if we're living with uncertainty about where we're going, we're not going to be able to be able to uh, do our best work today. No, fear is is not definitely not a motivator that is sustainable. Um, I think uh, the excitement and hope for the future is a much better motivator and it can help us gain momentum. But I agree with you, Dave. We definitely have to start to look to the future and start to really understand what's at stake and start to take it much more seriously. What are the biggest uh, obstacles or roadblocks that get in people's way when it comes to uh, planning our retirement? Well, I think there are three of them. Um, and, and as you start to really look at this, you can understand uh, that there are three big ones and then there's one obvious one. Uh, the, the big ones are misunderstanding retirement. I think a lot of people look at the word retirement and they think that it's the end. But if we step back and start to really look at this, you start to realize it's a beginning of doing more of the things that your heart wants to do. It, it's a it's a period of time that is not not just a five year thing, but retirement can actually be a twenty to twenty five year thing. And so pulling back and seeing that for what it is is an eye opener. Another one is obstacle is depending on Social Security. I think a lot of people out there look at Social Security as this thing that's going to save the day. And then digging down into doing my research, I realized the average Social Security payout right now is around sixteen thousand dollars per year. So that means we're talking around $1,333 per month. Now, I don't know what your listeners' dreams are, but I can pretty much guarantee that there's no one out there that could live their dream off of $1,333 per month. And so we don't want to see Social Security as the superhero saving the day. I want people to look at it more like the icing on the cake. That if it is there and you do get it, great, but we're not going to count on it. We're not going to put the future of our family in the hands of a government that's proven time and time again that it struggles to count. The third obstacle is acting like sheep. Now, I know that sounds odd because people say, what do you mean sheep, Chris? Well, I did research on sheep, and here's what I found out, Dave. Sheep are not the smartest animals on the planet. I've heard that. They tend to. They do. They wander off. They go all over the place. That's why they have to have a sheep, a herder, somebody to keep them in line and keep them connected. That's why he has that long staff to pull them back when they try to wander off. Well, unfortunately, a lot of us out there can be like sheep. We can see this new shiny or this thing and we can take our eyes off the prize, take our eyes off the goal. And then the next thing you know, we look up and we've wandered off the plant. So I want people to be more intentional. Don't be a sheep. Be focused. And then the final one, the one that's not as obvious, is simply number four, which is not having a plan. Uh, We've all heard Zig Ziglar say that if you don't have a plan, you can fall for anything. But I think having a plan for our retirement, for our future, to the most crucial time in our lives is so very important. And that's why I wrote the book Retire Inspired, because I wanted people to be able to plug in and engage with a plan. You know, as I was thinking about this uh, uh, subject of obstacles to planning our retirement, I was thinking about a couple more. Uh, number one is is family or spouse, right? Because if if we and our spouse don't agree on where we're headed as far as retirement, that could be a huge detriment to us doing the proper planning. You're absolutely right, Dave. And, 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 and looking at it and seeing things, you know, the number one cause for divorce in America is money fights. 
Um, And you start to see that and realize the tension that it can cause in relationships. And so, you know, being united, uh, gaining an understanding uh, about what the goals are and what we want to do. You know, for example, I talked with my wife about this uh, about three years ago when I really started to dig in into, into this topic. And I asked her, I said, "Hun, what do you want to do in retirement? And she lit up like a light bulb talking about all the places she wants to go travel and go do. And she rattled off like five or six places she wanted to go see. And then she stopped and looked at me and she said, Chris, what do you want to do? And I thought to myself, I travel all around the place now speaking and (laughs) helping people. So I looked at her and I told her, Dave, I want to travel all around our house. (laughs) And she just busted up laughing. And she goes, isn't that like the two of us? She's the yin, I'm the yang. But here's the thing. We will end up uniting and negotiating and we'll do some travel and we'll do some time at home. But uniting with her, being on the same page is huge. It's a game changer because together there's not anything we can't do if we decide not to be held back. You know, I think in probably most marriages, and you would know this better than me, but uh, there seems like there's probably one that's more of a saver and one that's more than more of a spender, right? Yeah, it sure is. And, if and that's not, just the nature. If yeah, you're not on really the same is. page together, then that can create problems when it comes to planning for the future. It can it can definitely uh, bring up tension in the relationship. And so even if you have one that's more of a saver and one that's more of a spender, here's the deal. If you will sit down and engage in the process and you actually do a budget or a cash flow plan, when you start to do that, you start to understand that we can save intentionally, but we can also spend intentionally. Oftentimes when people hear the word budget, they think of handcuffs, and that's just not true. When you do a budget and you do it properly, you actually give your permission, you give yourself permission to spend so you don't have to have guilt later. Seems like uh, sitting down and having that dream is going to be the the pavement that's going to pave the road uh, to us planning better too. Because if me and my spouse, me and my wife, uh, we're on the same page about where we want to spend our retirement, we have a dream, we have something we're excited about, then both of us are going to be more willing to make whatever sacrifices we need to to get there. You hit the nail on the head. That uniting is a game changer. It's one of those where you really start to look and you can find some things that you can do. You can find ways to be able to save extra money. Uh, My wife, I mean, we had our budget meeting and we were looking at our budget trying to figure out where are some leaks? Where are we spending money that we don't need to be? Where can we save more to be able to invest more? And so she mentioned the landline phone. And I remember looking at that going, yeah, that's 60 bucks per month you know, that we don't use. I mean, yeah. we don't use that phone. And and so immediately, just in the 10 minutes we had that meeting, we already found 60 extra dollars. And so I think more people can do that. But two heads are always better than one. So if you're married, unite with your spouse. If you're single, I want you to find an accountability partner that you can talk with and, and you can cheer each other on. We're going to get to Chris's one simple thing uh, for today in just a moment. I'm really excited to be working with a former guest on the show here, Clay Clark, and his website, thrive15.com. It's a wonderful resource for those of you who are in business, would like to be in business, have questions about business. And Clay is uh, here to talk with me about it for just a couple of moments today. So, Clay, tell me a little bit about Thrive 15. I know I'm a member. I've already watched a few videos on the site, and I'm just really enjoying it. Uh, Why did you start Thrive 15? I started Thrive 15 because I felt like there was three core issues that every business owner that I was consulting with had. They They all needed to get their questions answered. They all needed to be able to have a kind of a workshop they could go to, and they all needed just an ongoing uh, mentorship. And so as 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 a consultant, I'm working with some of the biggest brands in the world, and they pay me to do it. And I realized that the only way to offer all three of these at an affordable price was to to scale it out, you know, because I charge people a monthly fee, and they pay thousands of dollars, and they're very happy to do so. But there wasn't anything affordable for people who maybe grew up the way I did, where they're maybe financially, they don't have unlimited resources. So I built it to, to really tackle those big three of mentorship, of workshops, and just being able to have every single business question you've ever had answered quickly. Dave, one thing that's kind of wild is we, we answer stuff like, how do I balance my marriage and my business? How do I raise capital? How do I hold people accountable? How do I hold a meeting? How do I you know, build my website? Everything you could possibly think of is there, but the people teaching it have actually done it before. So it's like business school without the BS. 
<laughs> I'm I'm all for that. So Clay, uh, we'll tell people how they can uh, join here in a second. But I'm really excited to be partnering together with uh, Thrive 15, and hopefully we can change some lives together. Right. Well, I tell you what, we have a thriver right now named Aman. He wouldn't mind me sharing this, but he uh, served our country. He's been a great guy. He finds Thrive15.com, and it's it's free for anybody who's in the military. If you're in the military, if you're a veteran, reserve, active duty, it's free for you. He found it, and he's literally changed his life, and that that's what it's all about. If you'd like to join in, I would welcome you. I've been watching videos on Thrive15.com, and they've really been helping me out a whole bunch. It's like having a business school right there on your laptop, your iPad, or whatever else. So take advantage of it. Go to our website, one simple thing, online.com. On the right-hand side, click on the Thrive15.com banner, and it will take you to their site to sign up. Uh, use the coupon code SIMPLE. When you check out and you'll get a 14 day free trial. Plus we produced a special set of videos having to do with uh, changing your beliefs. We call it belief replacement therapy. Uh, Clay has put these videos together for you and you get access to those uh, as a special bonus when you sign up today. Again, just go to one simple thing online.com, click on the thrive15.com banner, and then use the coupon code simple when you check out. Do you have an action point for us today? What should we look at today as something we can put into practice that's going to help us avoid these obstacles? Well, I think the first one, you know, the, the one thing I would tell people is to take a look at the, some of these obstacles, you know, start to acknowledge it and look at it for what it is. Because, see, obstacles to me aren't a stopping point. To me, an obstacle is a proving ground. It's one of those things where we want to acknowledge that it could potentially be there. But then I want to have a plan on how am I going to defeat that obstacle? What am I going to do to overcome it so I can move forward for myself and my family? Run through those obstacles one more time for us so that we can sit down and really start thinking about them. Absolutely. The first one is misunderstanding retirement. The second one is depending on Social Security. The third is acting like sheep and kind of wandering around. And then the final one is not having a plan. Great. Chris, I know you cover this a whole lot more in the book, and we'll tell people how they can get a copy of it here in just a moment. Chris Hogan, again, thank you for being with me today on the One Simple Thing podcast. Thank you, Dave. Chris Hogan, again, our guest today on the One Simple Thing podcast. So grateful for his time. Hopefully, you are learning something. Hopefully, you're uh, you're learning to uh, make that plan and follow it and stick to it so that you can live the kind of life you want to live during your golden years, as they say. If you would like to find out more, just get to your copy of Chris's book. Again, it's called Retire Inspired. It's not an age. It's a financial number. You can get your copy by going to our website, click on the Chris Hogan banner, and uh, you'll be able to pick up your copy via Amazon.com. The website, onesimplethingonline.com. We'll learn a, a couple of pennies as well when you buy it through our website, which helps support the show here. Speaking of supporting the show, when you go to the website, look on the top menu. You'll see the, uh, uh, the item, support the show. Click on that. It takes you to a page. We have links set up for you. Would you mind leave us a, uh, leaving us a rating and review uh, today? I would certainly appreciate that. It helps other people find us, helps us rise on the iTunes rankings, and that means all kinds of good things for this show. So again, just click on support the show at onesimplethingonline.com. It'll take you to iTunes where you can leave us your rating and review. And hopefully it'll be five star. If not, tell me why <laughs> so we can fix it. Uh, and if you ever want to email me, my address is dave at onesimplethingonline.com. That's what the number one in there, dave at onesimplethingonline.com. Love you guys. Thank you for listening today. I really do mean it. I'll see you next time here as we welcome back Chris Hogan again on the next episode of the One Simple Thing podcast.